Hello, in this video I'm going to make a lyrics editor and I'm not going to edit anything, I'm just going to go with it. So I just started off with um, this program here, seeing if the um, Windows script host object model DLL had anything useful in there. And I'm not even going to bother with it, it might have something that will allow me to edit ID3 um, tags, but it's going to be very sloppy, so I'm j I just didn't bother. So in this program, we're going to edit the lyrics of an MP3 file. Okay, so we're going to find a decent library that will allow us to edit the um, ID3 tags for an MP3 file. C Sharp ID3 library. This looks good. Let's uh, download this. Um, see if we can actually find just the build and not the uh, source. So it's on 0 0.5, so it's not going to be perfect. It's a bit bigger than I thought it would be. So I'm going to extract this. I always extract um, files so that if it's not in the folder, then uh, it's just going not going to be everywhere. Um, so um, I'm going to just open this up and build it. Make sure it's built. And I'm going to build in the release directory because it was in the, the testing configuration there. I don't know that it'll change anything. And I'm not sure where. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot to this source here, so I'm going to just look around. I think this uh, MP3 li library here is what I need. So I'm going to use. I'm going to import all of these here and just play around with them. I really have no idea um, what the differences are between them and whatnot. They may all kind of work together. Not sure. Let's uh, import them all. So I'm going to go to Browse. I'm going to go to my Downloads, which is somewhere. Go into here. And I actually, sh maybe I should do the um, ID3 editor here. Which is this, it seems like it has the same DLLs in it. Okay, so you can pretty much just click on any folder, I suppose, and it's going to have the same build for the DLLs. They're just used in uh, different uh, projects, different uh, executable areas so that they can test the different aspects of the DLL. Really not sure, but let's add these three here. Um, that'll do. And let's take a look at it. ID3 lib mp3 file. Let's uh, create an mp3 file. And we're going to pass in a file name. I'm going to hard code this. really don't like the library the whole library thing that they have going on with Vista 7 just makes it so hard to um, copy file paths and stuff so this is a one nation space dash um, sale Okay, so we created an mp3 file object. Let's see what's within this object here. Um, tag model, maybe what we want. Tag handler. Let's take a look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we've got the, um, let's go to the lyrics. 
The lyrics are going to be equal to the text box um, text. And we should put that in a button click event handler. Cool. Let's start it up and let's just type something in. This is nice. Hit submit. And let's go to the the, to the file itself and see if it is applied. Okay, I, I'm not even seeing the lyrics here. I don't even think it has lyrics. That's kind of odd. Let's take a look at the, something else here. I always thought they had the lyrics right up front in the uh, the details here. I suppose I was wrong. Well, we're going to have to change a different element, different tag. Let's try year. So I'm going to change the year to 4000. And I do believe that is a string. Hope to God it is. And um, we're going to change this to year. Yeah, accepts a string. Really, if this was my library, I would actually make it accept an int and then cast it back to a string because then you would restrict the user from importing any crazy year characters like or typing out the year as a string or something ridiculous like that. Okay, so 4,000. Um, okay, let's check the year of a wall nation sale. year is still 2000 so maybe I have to do some sort of save process or something so let's take a look at the object itself yes there is the um, update method that I'm probably going to have to call to update so let's try this again 4000 submit go back to my music file okay There it is, 4,000. Pretty cool. So these lib folders here, these are folders for the actual build of the DLLs. And then you've got some editors and stuff, uh, utilities, uh, some ID3 extract here, and then some testing utilities. So really you just want to get the, um, the uh, builds out of the MB3 lib release directory after you build in release mode or the um, CSID3 lib. So really all you need to know is that these this MP3 lib and the ID3 lib, they're kind of dependent on each other. Uh, that's what it seems like. Cause if I uh, remove the reference from uh, the ID3 lib here, which is not, I'm not directly referencing any ID3 um, functionality in the code here and I go to build I'm gonna get some errors here and that's how you use libraries without knowing what they are but really you should read about them before you use them in a large project or something that you plan on making um, very nice for the users see you later